Today topic is CI-CD pipeline automation with Jenkins. In CI-CD pipeline automation, we have five stages. In continuous integration, step one, continuous download, step two, continuous build, step three, continuous deployment, and step four, continuous testing. In the same way, continuous delivery contains fifth stage, and we use here continuous delivery. In our CI/CD pipeline architecture, the requirements are GitHub account, development server, QA server, or testing server, and the last one is production server. And we are deploying our server in AWS account. This is the our architecture. Let's jump to our AWS. Here I already have created uh, these three servers and deployed it. Let's go to dev server and connect it. Connect. I'm starting Jenkins from here. Let's copy the public IP address. sign in in Jenkins in Jenkins dashboard we have not created any job create a new job here I am going to create a development job with freestyle project click on ok here is the, our development uh, job here I am providing my github repository URL this is the continuous download let's apply and save it build now here we got no errors we can see our console output finish success so go to our development section again configure it for continuous build we have to move to eight built steps and we have to choose in box top level maven targets our goal is package apply and save click on build now here we can see in console output continuous build is also success so let's go to our job configure it and for deployment we have to go to aid post built action and choose deploy var ar to a container here we are using container we have to provide a var ar files so i am providing here context path Q A N B. Let's choose our container. I am using here Tomcat 9. Here in Tomcat 9, we have already installed Tomcat in QA server. There we have already provided username and password. So we have to add our username and password for the connection of Tomcat from here. I have already added here choosing my username and password for the Tomcat here we have to provide the QA instance public IP in QA instance choose the public IP I am pasting here And providing the port number 8080 in which Tomcat is deployed. Let's save it. Build now. After build, here I am pasting the QA server IP address 80. 
slash QANV and click on here we can see our Java calculator this is the process of continuous deployment then we want to go for the new job that is the testing job so create new item here testing freestyle project click on ok for testing we need the selenium codes but I am not using here and selenium codes I am executing shell command here echo clean test and save it now we have two jobs development job and testing job let's build this job we get the success what we want we want to trigger the testing job with the help of development job go to development configure then add post build action and I want to build other projects so we have to provide the project name that is testing and save it so when we build development job it will trigger the testing job also we can find here that the second build is in pending when the and it is done now for continuous delivery go to the development job here configure choose 8 post build action choose archive the artifacts then we have to provide the artifact I have chosen my artifact extension that is dot war file just save it go to our testing job configure 8 build setup choose here copy artifacts from another project we have to provide the project name that is development and then add post build action and deploy var ear to a container provide the var ear file name we have to provide context path that is prod environment let's add container tomcat 9 here I have already added my username and password let's provide tomcat url go to instance here in prod instance we have to copy our public IP address and provide here I am providing the port number in which tomcat is deployed and save it to make the automate everything will trigger at once so go to the dashboard in testing we can see we have only two builds in deployment we have four build let's build it now here in deployment we have created one more build fifth build in testing third build is in continue process third build is completed without error so we what we want we want to trigger the github account continuously 
and built automatically so go to development section configure here we want to build trigger and build periodically here I am providing building the artifact in a minute here the first star denotes the minute section second stars for hour third for the date of month fourth for the month and fifth one is day of week I am providing here star which means uh, it's for one minute at each one minute it triggers our github repository and provide the continuous build of the whole project so save it we can see here we have only five builds and after one minute it will trigger the sixth build so let's wait for the sixth build we have to wait for the one minute yeah now the sixth build is started it starts automatically after one minute and it triggers the testing job here we can see that it's now fourth fourth one build is also created here so let's find out does this project works continuously as we mentioned ci cd automation or not for that we are going to our github account here in source code i am just going to change the code i am going to edit it in edit section i edit here java calculator is working fine we can see that in our production environment here we have java calculator and i have just changed it to uh, java calculator is working fine let's commit it yes i have committed this let's check our dashboard go to the development section we can see the it pro it built is in process after it built is completed go to our prod environment and refresh it we can see that java calculator is working fine in this way our ci cd pipeline automation with jenkins is completed